We're learning more about the drowning on Jordan Lake in Chatham County. Searchers spent overnight looking for a man reported missing. He was found dead a few hours later. The Chatham County Sheriff's Office offering condolences to the victim's family, but also talking about the importance of water safety during the high swimming season. Cindy Bay live on Jordan Lake for us with the update. Cindy. Joel and Amber, we're on the cusp of a busy holiday weekend with more people expected to head to the water, including here at Jordan Lake. And this comes as the Chatham County Sheriff's Office is identifying another drowning victim, the third one we know of uh, so far here at Jordan Lake in the past two months. Officials say 52 year old Eduardo Martinez drowned while swimming in Jordan Lake in an area near the intersection of Martha's Chapel Road and Farrington Road. They say the Carborough man was visiting the lake with family when they say they saw him struggling in the water but couldn't help him. He was found overnight and officials say they're working with the family to get them the support they need. But this highlights the importance of water safety all across the triangle. Wake County EMS telling me they're bracing for more water related injuries such as drowning as the summer months continue. So the biggest thing is that it can happen to anybody and it only takes a second for it to happen. So I think the biggest tips and advice is that if you are going into the water, make sure that you have somebody with you, so whether it's in the water with you or keeping an eye on each other, making sure that you understand your boundaries. The American Red Cross also has these safety tips that include knowing your limitations, using layers of protection in and around water, and ensuring that the entire family learns how to swim. The Chatham County Sheriff's Office is also reminding here uh, people here specifically at Jordan Lake to be aware of the designated swimming areas uh, to prevent such incidents. Reporting in Chatham County, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.